Sophie filed a YSNT getting stuck in two cookbooks right away, she has revealed. By Hayley Cadru Thursday, November 2, 2017 Sophie Falda was crowned winner of the Great British Bake Off earlier this week, October 31, 2017. But the happy news didn't come as a shock to many Channel 4 viewers, and newbie judge Pruleith accidentally let the news slip on Twitter hours before the final aired, which was a good reminder to many GEBBO fans just how far ahead the fate of the baking hopefuls is decided because the final of the show, hosted by Nola Fielding and Sandy Tokesvig, actually took place earlier this summer, which means fellow judge Paul Hollywood handed out his final congratulatory handshake long ago. So what has winner Sophie, who was training to be a stunt woman before taking part in the competition, been up to since her win finally being able to openly talk about her success? The 33-year-old recently told East Anglian Daily Times that she's in the process of planning a trip with a fellow Bake Off contestant, Sophie and runner-up Stephen Carter Bailey, who credited learning to cook for his incredible weight loss, are plotting a trip to Scandinavia. The two have become very close over the 10 weeks inside the tent. Speaking of her competitor since the win, Sophie tweeted love this photo of me and that sponge cake skin she added to the guy who raised everyone's standards and made us all better bakers. Love you XX. The duo's trip will slot into Sophie's bigger plans to travel the world, but what about her baking career? She revealed it would be wonderful to write a patisserie book, but let's see what comes my way. I would like to try traveling the world for inspiration for starters. Naturally, the ex-army officer ISNT the first GBBO winner to write a cookbook, many of the winners from the BBC One Days have gone on to do the same, from Francis Quinn's quintessential baking to Nadia Hussain's Nadia's Bake Me a Festive Story. In fact, winners such as Nadia have been so successful since taking part on the show, having done everything from hosting her own TV show to being a regular guest of panel shows such as Loose Women and We're Sure Sophie is in for a similar fate. Since winning the show, Sophie has set up her own website, and we're sure we will be seeing her pop up more and more.